and Tom Neen. I don't know. I will link it down below. Um, and what I would do is I would like literally pack product on and then buff it into my skin. Look away so you won't see. Cause the pain is in my eyes. Feels like I could break it any moment. And shatter your insides. If you feel my mind. So as you can see, there's barely any coverage, barely any anything. I tried once the min, um, Bay Minerals, the, the powder foundation, um, but I didn't like it. I don't know. I never got it to work for me. But this is basically what I used to do. It didn't cover anything. My nose is still red. My blemishes are still coming through. It clings to dry patches. Ugh. I don't know how I used to look like that. Anyway, then I would move on to blush. Um, I brought my backdrop palette um, and I'm gonna use this blush brush. So let's pack it on and then I would just go all in. All in. Mind you, this is a blush quite pinky um, I had even pinkier blush I used to you have a blush like this and I would do the same thing and then I'll see on the other side there was like no thing like go on a light hand just tap it on no it was like Fully blown. Put that blush on. If it would be a bit too much, like he, like so, I would just take the powder brush, blush brush, and then just diffuse it a little bit so it doesn't go too much. So moving on to the eyes. Also, brows was my thing. I only do my brows since. I for a year or two now like brows wasn't a thing so it goes straight to the lip and I must say from all my friends I am the only one who uses primer since I am 14 years old but I used to use always a Y coke gel for primer and that's what we're gonna use today I, I don't use this anymore but what I used to do is ah, and it is really scratchy So I used to do this like this. I know you feel like you want me, and I guess in a way you do. So, and then I would just warm it up and blend it out a little bit. And then I would go straight into eyeshadow. Today we're gonna go with the natural eyes, and um, as this has a shade that is that, ha that this, as this has a shade that is very similar to what I used to use, which is Silk Teddy down here. And I would use those applicators, those those applicators as everyone hates. So I'm gonna just use my flat brush. So just go all in and put that all over the lid. I don't know, I don't remember if I would do it all the way up there, but let's just not go overboard. Then I would have an eyeliner and just draw a line. If you feel my mind, call me your now. I would use the black coca gel and just draw a small line on my bottom lower lash line. And like 
is I mean over the years my makeup changed I used to do like all round black I used to do in the waterline I used to put eyeliner in my waterline yeah we're almost done mascara obviously this is obviously not the one that I used to use I don't really remember what I used to use Face. And lipstick. Um, a couple of years ago, I used to always to use red lipstick because I am obsessed with Taylor Swift, and I always wanted to look like Taylor Swift. I know I will never look like Taylor Swift. She's blonde and tall, and skinny. I'm not. But red lipstick. That goes so smoothly over my really dry lips because I'm blowing my nose all day. Okay, do it for the team. Yeah. Well. I think we need more blush. More, more blush. And this is the final look. Well, what do you think? It looks different, hey? It's not too bad, I must say. It's like, it's very natural and very clean. Obviously, the blush is a bit of an overkill. We're missing a little bit of highlight. I would definitely get those eyebrows plucked and I would definitely <laughs> enhance them a little bit because they're basically non-existent. Yeah. yeah. Let me know what you think. Otherwise, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.